Well, 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 I am here and so are you. I got some summons. Uh, these are just, well, actually, screw it. You know what? We'll just do TOA 100 first. We got to get this legendary scroll to complete the summon session. So I don't know if this team, uh, I don't know if this team is going to be able to do this or not. They may have to ruin up Spectra or Fran or somebody. Okay. So how you want to do this first stage is you want to kill the Annabelles, the blue ladies first. If you put any debuffs on the red ladies, it doesn't work out well for you. They heal right back up. So you want to avoid putting debuffs on the red lady. Um, so we want to try to kill the blue ladies first. Should be easy enough. And she should be dead. There you go. Defense break this one. Bonk. And then Naomi would just swap her a little bit. Do that. All right, now this is when it gets tricky. This is when it gets tricky. I don't know. Can we kill her before she wakes up? No. Okay. She's halfway dead. We can get there. This is just tedious. It's not necessarily difficult. It just takes forever. Um. Okay, she should die. Good. I guess we'll focus on this one because she's still alive. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's, let's just stop doing that. It's done. Might as well do defense attack buff. Why not? Okay, let me, no, frick. I need that defense buff to stay on. That's how we can like nuke them down and dead. Nice, now we just single click on this one. All we have to do is spam skill ones. Eventually she will die. It, there we go, nice, easy peasy. That's really kind of the hardest part about all this. There we go, buff up Shannon. Just pop this Veramos real quick. Thank you, Naomi. Defense break, everybody. Let's kill the Veramos because he cleanses. And I don't want him to cleanse. Nice job. Naomi MVP. This is a very jank TOA team. I know that, but so far it's working. Okay, all we have to do is just destroy this little chickadee. And then we're on to the boss. Yay! All right, so this is all about attack bar reduction. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Get a stun. Nice stun. Good job. Always keep this buff up. I want to wait for defense break before I do that skill. All right, Bella, defense break. Nice. Now we should just be able to nuke her down. Got another stun on that one. Okay. Bonk, bonk. Thank you, Naomi. Mobilize just because why the heck not? All right, this should be pretty easy. I mean, it's only TOA normal and we are way over ruined. We're not supposed to have this good quality of runes, you know, the first time you clear TOA normal, but the game gives you the runes. So what do you want me to do about that? Okay. Even these little minions barely do anything. We just need Naomi and Veramos to keep getting lots of turns and then we win the game. All right, one more hit. We are almost done. Bomb, thank you, Veramos. TOA 100 has been completed. Thank you very much. Like the video. We got our legendary scroll. And we also, more importantly than that, I've just been putting this and this guy um we get our transcendent scroll a guaranteed nat five that's <laughs> golly that's pretty crazy man a guaranteed nat five oh my okay well i'm trying to think our goal remember is you know to get a gold star in arena and keep the gold star in arena. We're at two stars right now. So we're pretty much crushing it. Pretty much crushing it. 
So I don't even know who PVP units are. I only know PVE units. I don't know who's good for arena defense. Uh, you basically want an arena defense to be very, very annoying to deal with. And I don't know. I don't know who that would be. I guess we could try for Leo. We want to try for Leo. I mean, we're not going to, we're not going to get nothing anyway. We might as well, we might as well goof off a little bit here and have some fun. Oh man. I'm so, oh, I'm so distraught. We didn't get one lightning and two summons. Oh man. I hate this game. 37 mystical scrolls. I'm, I wouldn't mind some good nat fours here and there. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. First lightning of the video, Neo Stone Agent. Okay. I legitimately comment down below who are good arena defense units. I I I've never ever built one before. It's always been a one unit defense my whole entire time. One unit defenses. So please, I'm asking for your expertise. Who are good arena defense units? Please help a brother. I'm struggling. We got three lightnings and 10 scrolls. That's freaking nuts, man. Is this deja vu? Is this literally? Wasn't she summoned right here the last time? I'm going to have to go back and look at that. I think she was the third summon last time. What is that? Okay, skip is I I'll scream. Okay, if she was gonna be right there again, drunken masters. We got seven more mystical scrolls. Might as well just pop these out here. I got a lot of units to second awaken. That's always a grind that's going on. Um, wind scrolls. I'll take a. I didn't mean to skip. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip. I just have it. Wow, back to back lightning is crazy. Leo. Two kobold bombers. This three. Okay, what is happening? If we get four back to back to back to back to back to back to back lightnings, I'm gonna die. Okay. Wow. I wow, three in a row. What are the odds on that? I have no earthly idea. Minotaur. Serpent. Okay, I don't even, can't, who am I looking for on fire units? <gasps> this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, I think he's good in siege, isn't he? Maybe he's good in siege. Water scrolls. Um, and no lightning on water scrolls. Okay, I need 10 more points. Can I? Okay, I think I have arena. Yeah, I do. I do. There we go. Hey, all right. We just got a whole second light dark scroll summon. That's very nice. I don't know what to use glory points on anymore. You used to buy, you know, you would farm arena for glory points so you could update. These used to be towers. Now they're obviously not. You used to have to spend glory points to upgrade these. Now they just give you the books whenever you level up to upgrade them. So I don't know what to spend glory points on. Scrolls, I guess, you know, if you need skill ups, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. Where was I? Light darks. We're not going to get any lightning from these. Don't get your hopes up. But wouldn't it be so freaking cool? LD lightning is always kind of a heart stopping experience here. Bada bing. <sighs> I was still secretly hoping though. That's a harpoon kind of day. It's a real shame that they're not secret dungeons that I could have just gotten them anyway. No scrolls needed. It's fine. It's fine. Two legendary scrolls. Bada bing. I have no earthly idea who to even hope for. Probably not this guy though. Unless I'm wrong and this is like the best arena defense guy in the history of arena defense. Something tells me that I'm wrong about that, but you never know. Nat four. Nobara Kogisaki. I think I have like four of her by now. Pretty three or four of them. All right, we have this. 
guaranteed nat five, which is great. Um, who do I even want? I'm trying to think. Who? Uh, Varad? No, Varad's terrible arena defense because Lucian just destroys him. Um, a fire unit for arena defense. Um, fire. Um, I almost said fire panda, but you confuse the fire panda. Fire. Uh, fire pony. The fire unicorn. Is that a good arena defense? I have no idea. Five, four, three, two. One, but a bing. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna take a guess. If I get this right, you have to subscribe. If I get it wrong, you have to like the video. So I win either way. We just summoned the Wind Hell Lady. We got a fire unit though. Is he, I don't know, Magic Order Guardian. Who the frick? What is that? Attack power of allied monsters with fire attribute by 50%. Jeez Louise. Attacks all enemies three times with each hit inflicting continuous damage for two turns. Attacking the target under continuous damage stuns the target. Wait, he had, oh, oh, wow. He attacks all units three times with each hit inflicting continuous damage. Wow. Attacking the target under continuous damage stuns the target for one turn with a 70. So his first turn, he inflicts continuous damage. The second turn, he stuns them. Then the third turn, he inflicts more continuous damage. Attacks all enemies three times. Each hit decreases their defense for two turns with a 30% chance and their attack bar by 20%. Attacks the enemy and decreases its attack power. This guy seems... Nuts. Am I Rika's sugar daddy? I would I would think so. POA hard beast with the solid cleave. Yeah. He's a male Rika. Yeah, I mean basically. POA hard. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I understand TOA hard, no doubt. No doubt about that at all. Because look, because what we can do. Okay, so we have this guy. He does, you know, continuous damage, AOE defense break. Um, and then we also we have Thrain. Let's just shove all these guys in here. We have Thrain who is obviously continuous damage. Um, we can get Gina from the secret dungeons. Let me, how do I, how do I do this? Uh, darkness right here. Yes. Dark mystic witch. Watch this. If we second awaken the dark mystic witch, would you quit Gina? We second awaken her. Attacks all enemies four times by summoning thorny bushes and inflicts continuous damage for two turns with a 60% chance each. She can put four dots on a unit. So, if I second awaken S Sath, where is he? So, increases the amount of damage all allies and enemies receive from continuous damage by two times. So imagine you get Sath, Thrain, Gina, and this Fire Knight Magic Order Guard all just doing continuous damages. I mean, and everyone is stunned and continuous damaged all the time because you put Gina on a despair set, there's a stun. Uh, Thrain already stuns people with his skill three. Wow. All right. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to think about that. Okay. But I, I want to, let's just, I want to focus a little bit more on arena this go around. And we're going to look at some arena defenses. Leo, there's obviously, yep. Let me hit refresh. Okay. That one's annoying. That one's definitely annoying. 
pretty simple to build i mean i can get this guy this this person i can get these units maybe not her but ah kumar yeah yep yep i i've i've never examined in my life a proper arena defense okay riley seems to be popular this guy yeah he's like the king of annoying the light dude what even class of guy is this frick i'm drawing a blank the light halfus the him this guy is annoying his stupid invincible uh, he's he's terrible you have to have specific units to beat him and if you don't you just can't kill him so i don't have him unfortunately but i understand him being in arena defense okay those are obviously easy pastrami is a good i mean 33 percent leader skill pastrami is a good yeah 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 fair enough let me just summon her real quick and i'll get right on that can i see what they have no i don't want to look at their i'm not going to have any units i can look defense info oh vanessa yeah vanessa's good she's a reviver let me scroll down a little bit here to the to the to the guys who suck a little bit more, you know? These guys are terrible. The rank 100 guy. What uh what do you have for your defense info? V Vanessa, the water, Hollyberry, Cookie. I can't even get her anymore. Can you? I don't think Can you get past events? I don't think so. I don't think you can summon past collabs, can you? What's your defense? Okay, Vanessa, you all right. Camila. And then uh, the fire. Okay, okay. I'm blanking on his name. Why am I blanking on his name? Not Chow. He's not Leo. He's not Ragdoll. He's not, I, I, whatever. Anyway, I know who I'm talking about there. Let's see who else is good arena defense. Rakan, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Vanessa seems to be rather important. You obviously can't, you know, I can't just get her. She's a nat five that you have to summon, but all right, it makes sense why she's so, She she she's annoying. She revives speed leader skill. That makes a lot of sense, okay. I'm not at the point where I'm really obviously considering an arena defense. I'm just trying to learn if I'm being perfectly honest with you. One of the things that is now I'm happy to announce, we do have a consistent Giants Keep Abyss Heart. If you remember in the last episode, we beat Giants Abyss Heart, but uh, it wasn't stable. So what we did was we went through and we put HP artifacts on, on our units made you know helped make lynn a little bit more tanky um and so that was obviously good and that's oh this rage set i forgot yeah the rage set oh why am i not why is that not plus 15 what is that there you go there's some more hp for you um the rage set we actually got from here it was one of these sets with your flower point that you could that you could get and i guess we just got freaking lucky on we got an hp speed and crit damage for slot two it's hp this one 29 percent hp that one is attack and crit rate i mean that was a like a triple roll into hp there uh speed defense hp crit rate i mean this isn't like an amazing and amazing rune but uh accuracy crit rate i mean so we got we got very very fortunate her crit rate is still low. I'm not pumped about that, but you know, she she more or less survives basically every fight. If we look through the record here, she's she's still like the only one that ever dies. But as you can see, I mean, it's not my team doesn't usually die. You know what I'm saying? Lynn stays alive except for that one. They all died there. But if somebody is going to die, it's going to be, it's Lynn, which is unfortunate because she's one of the main damage dealers. But 
That's okay. Our fastest time, I think, is 150. Yeah, 150 right there. So that's pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm definitely definitely happy with that. One of the things I was trying to work on is I want to fuse Verta Heal. It's just Verta Heal is such he's just such a good unit to have, and fusing is actually very very easy nowadays. Before you'd have to take a three star unit, get them to max level and then turn them into a four star unit and then get them all the way up to max level. But you don't have to do that anymore. Um, whenever you evolve a unit, they don't go back down to level one. They stay at the level that they were. And that's that makes it a lot, lot, lot faster. So I wanna, you know, after this run, they should all be level 30. I think I did overkill on this. Oh, well, it's okay. I don't care. And then we'll get Verta heal. And then we'll start on climbing TOA hard. Yeah, level 30. So now all we have to do is just go over here. Click on Verta heal. Select. 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 And bada bing. Another thing that we're going to have to do is work on our our Riley fusion. Um, we have, ah, I'm going to have to make another Verta heal, aren't I? I'm going to have to make two of these. Ugh, that's okay. It's annoying, but it can be done. We already have her. We have all the pieces here. We have all the pieces here. Him, we can get from Tamor Desert if we really wanted to farm it. He is one of the drops right here, the Griffin. So we can get him. But Riley is, she's just a beast. She is. And she's obviously used in quite a few different arena defenses. So as much as I hate fusing units, and you guys know that I do, where it seems like we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to do it anyway. So what what more can you say? I wanna try to get some speed rolls. Um power up level. Let's go here. Okay, where am I looking at? So this one, HP speed, crit rate, crit damage. We're so we're so early game that we're definitely, you know, gonna use this rune on somebody. I don't know who or when, but somebody is gonna take it. Um let's do speed, crit rate, defense plus nine. Oh rip the dream there, huh? Speed, crit rate, or crit damage, HP, which is plus 12. This bad boy, bada bing. I don't, again, I don't know who we're going to pop these runes on, but it will be somebody. We're, we're, we basically have, wow. Hmm. Six, it could have been six, 12, 18. We're two, we are two points off of three perfect rolls. 6, 12, 18. We got 16, which means we got either a four roll or two five rolls in there. But why triple roll in speed? You love to see it, my friends. It's just it makes for a happy day. Let's get another one. Here we go. I didn't mean a... All right. Well, technically, we did get another triple roll. Not exactly what I had in mind, so to speak, but... You know, it's okay. It's fine. This is a, this rune, I might trash it if it, it's a minimum roll. You see that? Four to six. It rolled a four. I'll give you one more chance at redemption. Mm, I can't sell it. I can't sell it. I want to. Okay, fine. Somebody can use I wanted to sell it. I was tempted, but I held back. I held back. All right, this room might be nice. It's in a, for a broken set at least. Crit damage, HP, accuracy. What do we get for plus 12? Accuracy. Beggars can't be choosers. And at this point, I'm basically keeping every rune that I receive. Be crit rate, accuracy. This rune already sucks starting out. Because it had minimum rolls, you know, on crit rate and speed. They're both fours. And that sucks. Can I get a 
I don't even. All right, fine. Okay. Someone could use 15% crit rate on a fatal set. Sure, they can. I'm sure of it. Here's a focus rune for more accuracy. HP speed crit damage. I'm trying to think who would use that. Maybe Spectra for the crit damage. You never know. All right, here are my fastest runes that I have so far. I have a 20 speed swift rune, which is very, very nice with accuracy and resistance. We love that. We are gladly happy. 16, 16, 15, 14. Okay. This is enough. We just got this one. 20 speed. Fantastic. 17 speed. 15, 15, 15. 15, 14, okay. This is an attack rune. I don't know why I kept it, because it rolled speed. That's why I kept it. Who am I gonna use that rune on, right? Maybe Khaki, it's a fatal attack rune. But, I mean, gym out the crit rate for something else. Maybe, that, maybe that's a Khaki rune. 15 speed, 12 speed. We have a 16. A 16, a 12, and then this one's 14, 14, 13, 10. Okay. So, we, wow, already in the game, we have some 20 speed runes. That's pretty, pretty freaking cool, if you were to ask me. I'm actually really interested in this TOA hard team right now. I really, really am interested in this TOA hard team. I got to... I have so many units to second awaken. It's actually, it's actually very, very scary. I got a second awaken. This guy might just be the next because he's so. This guy's so freaking useful everywhere. He really, really is. Um, Rauk, I don't have a strong current desire to six star him, or to six star or second awaken him. I don't think he's a priority as of now. Um, Crow. Ah, I mean, Crow's good for Rift Dungeons. Um, He's good for Rift Dungeons. He's used in basically all of them. So I do need to second awaken him. I do. I do need to second awaken my Thrain. Having an auto farm TOA hard team would just be so incredibly helpful. Uh, To not have to think about it and just let it auto play. Yeah, that would be... That would be kind of nuts. So I've got to get my hands. I've got to get a secret dungeon on Gina. Wait, wait, wait. Did I lose all my? No, they're still all open. Okay, they're still open. That's fine. I got to get a, a dark mystic witch. That's a that's a goal. That's a, that should be an easy goal. I can I can achieve that fairly quickly. So here's the monster box. Here's what it's looking like. We're making really, really solid progress. We are currently day five. I think it switched to day five. We beat TOA normal. We got a, a minute 50 Giants Heart Abyss team. Okay, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Please, please, please comment down below. Like who, who do you guys think I should use for like a starter arena defense team? Help me theory craft, guys. I'm, I'm coming to you for help. You guys are way, way, way smarter than me. And uh, I'm genuinely asking, please help me with Arena. I want to do good at this. I want to understand it. I've never learned PvP in this game, ever. I've dibble-dabbled in RTA, but as of now, RTA makes me very angry and raises my blood pressure. So I'm not looking to dive into RTA. Let's start off with just normal baby Arena first and see how that goes, all right? Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more Summoner's War content. Please and thank you. And this is Uncle Ney signing off.